Once again, tragedy echoes through the Geldof family. 24 hours after Peaches passed away, Fifi posted this picture online. The caption, My beautiful baby sister, gone but never forgotten. I love you, Peaches. As well as a sibling, she was a daughter to Bob Geldof, a wife and a mother of two. A young woman who had to cope with the death of her own mother, Paula Yates. This is Parker. He is my two-year-old golden retriever boy. Just a fortnight ago, Peaches took part in sport relief, helping to raise money for good causes, just like her father was doing almost 30 years ago with the Live Aid charity concerts, which he organised with his friend Midge Yur. The tragedy and, uh, and what he's done in life, uh, yeah, maybe run on parallel lines, but they have no association with each other, I suppose. Uh, you know, sometimes you can't, you can't dictate what fate's got in store for you. Um, and for some bizarre, unknown reason, uh, Bob's had a, a very ropey ride. In the Kent village of Borough Green, where Peaches did her shopping, locals reacted to the news of her death with sadness. Very, very pleasant. Um, obviously, she was talking with her husband all the time. She was carrying the, carrying the children with her, and uh, was obviously, a, you know, a, a caring mum. And you know, it was a, it was a family. It was like a family like any other that, that were coming here. Peaches was born into fame, but she worked hard to make something of her life. She was a TV presenter and journalist, most recently writing for Mother and Baby magazine about how motherhood helped her to overcome her traumatic childhood. Lots of things were very constant. She was still, she still had this kind of um, vulnerability, but she was very passionate. She was just as eloquent as ever, um, just as fun, and, and very, very, very passionate about motherhood. A post-mortem examination in the coming days will establish how Peaches died. In the meantime, the struggle of living life without a mother has already passed to the next generation. Richard Suchet, Sky News.